What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video for today's video. I wanted to go over some physical media stuff I recently just picked up. I splurged on the full moon sale that was happening during Valentine's Day week and ended up getting the 12 Blu-ray set for the Puppet Master collection. So today we're going to go over this bad boy, show you the contents of it, the, what's inside, what it looks like, and also go over like retrospective talking about the films and how I got introduced to Puppet Master, my feelings on it, and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned to this video. It's going to be a fun one. Let's do this. Roll it. So yes, Puppet Master is a franchise that I actually got introduced to this franchise at a pretty young age. I had to probably been around, I want to say like seven or eight years old when I first caught the first movie of this one. I actually watched the first movie and my grandmother actually, fun fact, my grandma was the first one who ever showed me this franchise because she's very fond of puppets and she likes, you know, child's play and Chucky and just kind of doll type horror. That was my grandma's thing. So she introduced me to these and I had such a fun time diving into the Puppet Master franchise with her. So every time I rented one or I went to my grandma's house, it was pretty much let's rent some Puppet Master and hang out and binge them. And one big reason I love Puppet Master is this is the straight to video like B horror movie era. And you kind of really have to be into that kind of horror. I know typically some people aren't into that type of horror because B movie horror is horror that's done low budget and it's small scale on purpose and it goes usually straight to video and Charles Band was just the king of that kind of cinema and that kind of horror at the time with doing Puppet Master and Demonic Toys and Castle Freak and Subspecies and all those kind of movies that's what he was doing under the Full Moon umbrella and Full Moon Entertainment is like yeah one of my favorites so let's look at this box real quick just to show it off there's that front part there we go, and then we got our top right there. See, and you can see the full moon right there. Your side, that's a cool little side piece right there. You can pause that, read that, and then here's another one right there, which is very similar to the Toulon box. That There was a trunk. You can get this version of this Blu-ray set, but with like the Toulon trunk. But I didn't end up getting that one. I, wasn't, I didn't splurge on that. I ended up just doing this box set. But let's go over what's inside of it real quick. Let's see if we can slide this out. I know we got a booklet right here. And it's just uh, not a hard shell case too. This is kind of just one of those flimsy like plastic cases. Something nice to just hold them. But it's not a hard like hard case thing like the Jason box set one. And there's your little booklet right there. Charles Band as you can see. Puppet Master. Sorry for the glare I'm getting from my lamp in my room. And there's a little essays and stuff. And by the way, fun fact, this lady right here. Oh, Puppet Master 2. That lady, she, she kind of put me through puberty at a young age, that girl right there. <laughs> like, I must I must say, Puppet Master 2. And let's see, let's go over, oh, here we go. Some, some little essays on the movie, as you can see, Puppet Master 1 and 2. And they have just kind of little small things about all the movies. A little essay telling you what, you know, put, putting the film out and what it did for the, and what's about the movie and stuff like that, so... I think it's just, yeah, a cool, fun, little informative booklet. As you can see, it goes through all the movies and stuff like that. And this is what comes with it. So I'm very happy that I picked this up because I had none of these. I had none of these movies outside of this box set yet. So it's really fun to have these now. So let's kind of open this up and we'll kind of go through all of them. Here's Puppet Master 1, the first one. They all have their own separate discs and own separate boxes and stuff like that. Boom, boom. There's your back. And your inside right there. So that is the first film. Very good film. Classic. Great atmosphere. But this is, fun fact, my favorite Puppet Master film. The sequel is my favorite. Blade and uh, Torch are my two favorites of the puppets. And, oh man, Puppet Master 2 is just so good. This one kind of reminds me of those old school, like, 30s and 40s films. It's really crazy, and I like this one a lot. Like, just, oh, man, the presence of Toulon and the people who are going to kind of investigate what happened at the hotel and stuff like that. And, yeah, I, I love that one. Puppet Master 2 is great. But Puppet Master 3 is just as good, pretty much. The three, If it was just Puppet Master 1, 2, and 3, this would probably be just a very freaking solid trilogy, one of the greatest horror trilogies. But Charles Band, you know him. He keeps going. He likes to even rip off himself sometimes, like he did Demonic Toys, which is kind of like a Puppet Master ripoff. He even did um, 
I think a movie he had part in doing a movie called Dolls, and that was even before Puppet Master. So he's he's famous for ripping himself off, but he does such a good job at it that you really don't mind it. And there's Puppet Master Four, the box. I love the cover of this one. This is a really good one that I used to watch a lot as a kid because I never viewed the puppets at Toulon's puppets as villains. And in this one, it's cool to see the puppets kind of take on this alien force of puppets, like these demons from a different planet. Like, oh man, it's just, it's crazy. It's out there, like for real. Like these films, you like, you just got to have fun with them. And they're so good. And the practical effects and the realistic puppetry work is fantastic. Some of the greatest stuff you're ever going to see. And Puppet Master 5 and 4 really do go hand in hand. Like these two right here are a good double feature watch for sure. There's your disc right there and yeah to to those two fantastic double feature watch here's curse of the puppet master actually one of my favorite um covers this is one of my favorite covers for a puppet master movie not a great film though but i love the cover but yeah some of these are kind of mediocre uh some of them are bad but some of them are really great like one through five like for me puppet master sorry i got something in my eye but one through five for me are fantastic I think they're great great films and then some of the other ones like this one is uh, uh, I'm like uh, not that good on that one I don't return to that one though this one's fun though retro puppet master I have a lot of fun with this one and it's because of this new school design I mean it's old it's supposed to be retro but it's this retro old school design for the puppets and stuff like that and this one kind of mediocre not great like the first five but I still do return to this one I like this one too we still have Tumblr and, you know, Blade and stuff, but they got, like I said, a very much old school type look to them. Now let's get on to Puppet Master, The Legacy. And I believe this is the one that Charles Band did that is kind of a new story, but it's actually using a lot of shots and a lot of um, images from previous films and stuff like that. But they actually tailor it to tell a different story. It's not just, you know, recapping the old films and going over and just showing you Puppet Master 1 through 5 or nothing like that actually has kind of a story that goes involved with this film so yeah Charles Band's the king of like I said ripping himself off and then here's Puppet Master Axis of Evil this is one of the more recent ones I believe I'm not mistaken this was 2000 something yeah this was pretty recent this one there's your back part right there and your disc art so yeah, it's fabulous that they all come with their own separate boxes, like I said, which is really cool. I love that because you really get to appreciate the artwork. And then these next two are first time watches for me uh, are going to be Access Rising. I've never seen Puppet Master Access Rising. And that's one thing, too, is the Toulon puppet story. I love the fact that it deals with Nazi Germany and, you know, kind of a... Uh, Toulon finding this reagent to kind of reanimate life or bring life to puppets and stuff like that so it's like and the Nazis want his formula so it's got this crazy story but I, I just have such a fucking fun ride with this franchise that I love taking the dive with them so I can't wait to watch these two because and then this one right here which is access termination so these two that I just went over are the ones that are going to be first time watches for me out of this box set so I'm excited about that. But I'm going to binge them all. I'm going to start with Puppet Master 1 and just go all the way through all 12 of these films for real. <laughs> like, I'm so excited. This is going to be badass. And then here we got uh, the Arcana of the Puppet Master. And if I know this one, if I remember correctly, is a kind of bonus features disc that has a couple featurettes and documentaries and stuff like that on the different Puppet Master films and Puppet Master 2 and stuff. And yeah, Puppet Master 3 behind the scenes. So yeah, it's got a lot of behind the scenes bonus extra footage and stuff like that there's the back if you want to pause that and read that and we can open this bad boy and look at this disc as well boom 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 right there so yeah that's a pretty cool cover too i like the cover on this one like these are just fun films and these are good films that you can just introduce uh like a new horror fan to at a pretty young age like i said i was like seven or eight when i discovered these and these are just freaking crazy fun films for real the puppetry work still lands today it still does because it's all realistic effects and like i said charles band just he was the king at capturing low budget b-movie effects and just stories for b-movies casting the right actors not like you know just really using his money in the very correct way that you just don't want to 
you know, waste money. And he was good at just spending his money the correct way. That way he was able to, let's get all these back in here, you know, look, utilize everything. Sorry, I'm distracted because I'm trying to put these back in. But yeah, just so he can utilize everything, you know what I mean, to the best of his advantage and make the coolest, you know, low budget B movie that he can. So that's what I love about Charles Band and also uh, Richard Band, I believe. I can't remember. I think that's his brother i can't remember does the music for these films and like the music is fantastic and it's like kind of very kind of cheap music you would see like said on a b-movie type horror film but it just lands so well and it's so atmospheric and it actually is creepy like for, for when i was younger and you watch these movies like some of these puppet master movies can be creepy and like scary to an extent but yeah i just am so excited that i got this set like i said all 12 of these films can't wait to start diving and just binging into these films and plus like my son he's kind of that perfect age where I'm actually going to start showing him these because he's seen killer clowns from outer space and he's seen some other like horror comedies and stuff like that and even like said Paranorman and I've been getting him into horror movies and he's seen some stuff with Child's Play too and even some Jason stuff so um and my kid my daughters they all love horror too so but they're not really into puppet horror my daughters they don't really like puppets which kind of sucks I'm like damn so that might, hopefully this just might be like me, be, me and my son's thing. He'll be into puppet horror. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this fun video. As I talked about this awesome pickup that I got from the Full Moon Sale. Go to their website. They have a lot of awesome stuff. Like I said, this sale only happens once a year though. I think it happens next February again. And that's one of the best times to go to that website because you can get a lot of awesome Blu-ray sets. They even have like the Evil Bong set. Like I said, they even have... um. The Puppet Master Toulon trunk set, which is like a big, nice trunk that comes with all these movies as well. And man, it's it, that one's fabulous, but that was pretty pricey, even though it was half off and wanted to scoop this bad boy up. And I'm very happy because when I get my setup and have my Blu-ray set up, it's going to be looking so pretty right there with my box set, probably right next to my Jason one. I'll have it right next to it and stuff. But as I said, thanks for sticking around with me all as we chatted about some awesome Puppet Master movies. And if you haven't seen these films, a lot of them are streaming on Tubi for free. You can go out and check those out right now for free. Like I said, streaming on Tubi. That way you can binge a bunch of these and kind of see if Full Moon's your thing. If this is your kind of horror and this is something you want to keep going with, then hit me up on Twitter or hit me up in the comments. I have a lot of other suggestions and recommendations for Full Moon films for you to check out. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.